Well, I think what's funny to me looking back at her wedding video is that it was very minimalist before I even knew what minimalism was. Well, I mean, that's good because we were poor, so yeah. <laughs> they kind of go hand in hand. So I actually found a wedding checklist. So we're gonna go through it. We're gonna tell you all about our minimalist wedding. Uh, what we really liked about it, maybe one or two things we would have done different, but it was fun. It was a good day, so it'll be fun to. Wow, done differently. So it's almost Valentine's Day, and I thought it would be fun to talk about our wedding because Tom actually proposed to me on the day before Valentine's Day. Throw her off. For 13 years ago. Uh, it was the same year we got uh, married. 20, so. Yeah, 2008. Yeah. So we'll talk about the proposal at the end because I want to get into the wedding, but the proposal was great too so oh sure you want to just cut we'll right just, to the wedding we're just skipping past that <laughs> all right so like i said i have a wedding checklist so i thought it'd be good if we just went through all the components of, the, of a wedding and we could tell you why we did what we did and it was an awesome wedding right we'll just say that it was it was gorgeous yeah. yeah you were gorgeous it was a wonderful day Ah, thank you. <laughs> All right, so number one was to, this is the list. Number one, it says 12 months before the wedding, plan your budget. Well, actually, it, there was no 12 months before wow. our wedding. We got engaged in February. Well, technically, I was planning on marrying you for years, so. <laughs> That's true. So were you planning this stuff then? <laughs> So we got engaged in February and then we wanted to get married in June on my parents farm Parents being farmers were like no, we cannot do a wedding in the middle of summer At the beginning of summer beginning, like come yeah. out of spring field work and then like bam wedding so um, we compromised on August 8th Yep of 20 It was actually August 2nd um, I would like oh, you. Yeah. To yes. I would like that in the video, please. <laughs> our 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 anniversary is not the eighth. It is the second, Don. <laughs> That's right. Of two thousand and eight. Oh, sure. You got one. You got an eight, right? Eight two oh eight. Oh man. Yeah. So my parents said August, and we're like, okay, very first weekend of August. <laughs> okay. So yep. anyway, but back to our our list here. So the budget. So it was important to us that I mean, my parents basically said, here's a set amount that we're going to contribute. And we're like, we didn't want them to spend a dime more than that. And we also did not have much ourselves mm -hmm. to contribute. So we were like, okay, we're going to take that amount and we are going to stick within that, which caused our wedding then to be very simple. I thought it was awesome. It was awesome. No, it was, it was awesome. We'll get to the awesomeness more too throughout the list. <laughs> All right. So number two was to reserve your date. So we'd pick that and then book your venue. So because we were getting married on such short notice, it wasn't really practical to find a lot of venues like traditional venues. And so, um, I was like, well, I mean, it'd be kind of cool to get married on my parents' farm. They didn't necessarily have like any buildings for it. It'd literally be like, okay, do it in the front yard or whatever. And do like a tent reception. Yeah, yeah. which could have been fine. Um, but my dad is kind of the type to like- Go big or go home. He just kind of goes <laughs> all out on things. And so they had been wanting to put up another like pole shed building, but a cool looking like one. Like a pretty one. Yeah, and so it was, it was kind of like, well, that's the perfect excuse to put this building up. With all that in mind, the cost of our wedding that I think Dawn is using as the figure is much different of a figure than what the it whole actually shebang cost. actually yeah. came to. Yeah, it didn't include the new building that my dad put no. up for it. <laughs> what was crazy though, so I mean, we're planning this in like March, April. April Again, they have to get through like all the spring farming, field mm -hmm. work and stuff. And so, I mean, they literally like, we pushed down an old it. building and then he built a boulder wall they had a building put up in floor heat concrete all that stuff sodded the front yard farmer sodded his <laughs> yard i mean it was craziness but yeah. that, your parents place was gorgeous yeah so i mean they threw up this building landscaped it everything <laughs> in time for our wedding on august 2nd i think it was the weekend before the wedding the sod was going down yeah so they did a lot of work to yeah. get ready for it. And we were down, we lived about an hour and a half away at the time. Yeah. And so every weekend we were trying to go yeah. down and help and um, paint buildings and do landscaping mm -hmm. and you know, Fresh all that stuff. and edging yeah. and flowers and. 
so that was the venue but it was very cool then to be able to get married on my parents farm it did not save them any money doing that <laughs> no. and then diana would go on to get married there um quite a few years later which we've talked about her wedding a little yep. bit but her wedding she did not use any of the aspect of the farm that we used <laughs> yeah her wedding was actually i'll put a, i'll link to a video where we talk about her wedding because it was like the complete opposite of our minimalist wedding. It was like your big fat Indian wedding. So yeah, it was great really though. Was. It was awesome. So anyways. Um, the reception was at your parents, not the wedding. That's true. There's ceremony. Yeah, yep. yeah. Well, which leads us to uh, choosing your officiant. So we decided to have our whole wedding at the farm. We had Pastor Gary, and who was our college campus ministry pastor, and then Pastor Kirby, who was mm. um, the youth pastor at the church, where we were also helping with youth ministry at mm -hmm. the time. So we had two pastors and they did it for us. And it yeah, was- Yeah, they tag teamed the service and it was yeah, awesome. It was really cool. It was good. Um, and so that was really cool. And so we had the ceremony right in the front yard. And then after the ceremony, um, they served like drinks and refreshments and then moved the chairs into the building for the reception. And what was fun at the end of the ceremony is, yeah. uh, so when we were going to walk back down the aisle, Tom like swooped me up and we knew it was coming. We had practiced it, not in my dress, but it was a shorter dress. And so I was just like trying to make sure that it like Tom got it all of my dress when he swooped me up. Got it all. <laughs> but it was funny because like you heard like a like a gasp, gasp yeah, in the yeah. in the audience. That was that was probably my favorite part of the wedding. Oh good. Yeah. It was kind of fun. So yep. all right so well let's talk about the dress the bridesmaids dresses, the grooms and groomsmen's outfits. Did you say yes to the dress? So here's what's so funny. <laughs> For so, like two years Dawn and Diana would watch Say yes to the dress every time they go down to their parents. It was after we got married, though, I think. I that know, that show came but on. it was okay. relentless. Yeah, I yeah, don't know. It's fun. <laughs> so we went dress shopping. So, okay, I should probably back up a little bit. I actually did not care that much about our wedding. I was excited to get married to Tom, but the actual event, I was kind of like, I let my mom, I'm like, it's what do you think? Party. And my mom and dad they were looking forward to it i think in the fact that like weddings are fun right it's fun to bring all your friends and family together share a good meal the excitement of you know your daughter and new son-in-law but i didn't actually care a whole lot about our wedding i think i think the thing too because the they were housing the venue it was their their farm they wanted to be very particular on how the whole farm looked mm -hmm. um so they they had the input with mm -hmm. all that because they wanted like they take a lot of pride in their property. Yeah. So it was like finally it was getting pretty close to the wedding and we're like, we gotta go dress shopping. And so I had been putting off wedding dress shopping because I actually wanted a shorter dress knowing we were getting married on the farm. And I had been like looking online and stuff and I was not finding a lot of short dresses. So we went to David's bridal. There were two dresses that were short or like T-length. And so I tried them both on and I'm like, well, this is the one. <laughs> like the, that, the one I liked better of the two and that was that and that was the dress i picked and it was i think it was 300 dollars. so that was also fit right inside our budget it was beautiful i liked it and i did have it altered just a little bit to fit a little bit more i do still have it i can link to that video too of how we decided if we would keep our wedding dresses or not so then for the for you and the groomsmen so we wanted tom to look a little different than the groomsmen so you yeah. wore your black suit with a white shirt with an open collar and flip-flops <laughs> Which my mom was like, they're wearing full flops. <laughs> it's a farm. Farm. Alone. <laughs> the groomsmen all just had like a teal button or long sleeve shirt with slacks and flip flops as well. Mm -hmm. And then for the bridesmaids, we just got the dresses at Macy's. So they were just brown and white. They weren't an actual like bridesmaids dress, but they were close enough to our brown and teal colors. And so we actually got the bridesmaids dresses and then Tom got the groomsmen's. Mm -hmm. I think they usually do it in that order. Yeah, I'm sure. Guys are a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. So, and then as far as our bridal party, um, obviously having a twin sister, she was my maid of she honor. She wasn't in it, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Diana was our maid of honor, and then um, I had two really good friends from when I lived in Rochester, Minnesota, um, that were my bridesmaids. I had Joe, uh, my best buddy, was my best man, and then I had another friend, Justin, Dawn's brother, Eric. Mm -hmm. And then we had like the ushers were um, my brother-in-laws. 
and my cousin. And your cousin. Mm -hmm. And what else is on the list here? I have no idea. Find a caterer. So even though we were trying to make everything very budget friendly, the one thing my parents were like, we're gonna have a good meal. So that was kind of- We're gonna roast a pig. This is a yeah. pig farm, we're roasting a pig. <laughs> yep, and they did. So yep. they, they had it catered, but that was the one thing they're like, we're not gonna skimp on the food, which I was glad for. The food which was- the food was amazing. Mm -hmm. I still, 12 and a half years later, remember back that food. The garlic mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. yeah. And so the food was great, and many people commented afterwards like, wow, that was really good food. But we served it like buffet style to try mm -hmm. and keep the cost down and to keep the food warm. And then instead of a cake, we did cupcakes. Oh yeah. Remember? We figured that cupcakes, you don't, no one has to serve it. And so, yeah. and I actually on the Yeah, they were tables, on the tables, yep. Yeah, and so on the tables for our, like, our centerpiece then was a little cupcake tower. And I made them out of like punch glasses and clear plastic plates, like I, tipped over a punch glass, glued on a plate, Hot glue. another punch glass, a smaller plate, put some fake flowers on it, and that was our our centerpiece. And my mom rented white linen tablecloths, so that felt nice. So I felt like even though it was very simple, like I think simple is probably a good mm -hmm. word for it, it was just really nice and it was fun. Mm -hmm. And the weather was phenomenal. Like in Minnesota in August is typically extremely humid and mm -hmm. hot. It wasn't humid at all. It was warm, but it wasn't hot. No. It was beautiful. Even the evening when the sun was setting and the yeah. dance was going, it was a gorgeous night. Yeah, the weather was perfect that day. Mm. So that was awesome. I mean, that the makes our breaks parted. wide. Jesus <laughs> yes. bowed and it said, I bless this marriage. <laughs> all right, buy wedding rings. So this, we can go back to the proposal. Sure. Now, which is kind of fun. I had originally told Tom, I mean, we had talked about getting married, so like I knew a proposal was coming at some point. And so I had told him, I'm like, I don't want to be one of those girls that goes and picks out her ring and then you just propose to me. And I'm like, oh, look, the ring I picked out. And so I'm like, I want you to pick it out. And I also told him I wanted it to look kind of like vintage or antique. -y. I didn't want it to look like all. I'm the not picky, out there. but I would like it to look vintage and antique. -y. Which back then, right now, that's more common. Back then, it was like just starting to come into. So style. I finally convinced Dawn to come with me to a jewelry store, and she didn't like any of the rings. And then we went to another jewelry store. Well, she didn't like any of those rings either. Can I say it? And then we went to the only other jeweler in town, and she didn't like any of those rings either. No, I found I found two then that I liked. But I feel like it was the... We had to go it, to a lot we had, of places. We had to go to a lot of places, and I was like, oh my lord, thank you for coming with, because you told me you weren't picky. I know. <laughs> It was very, I wanted it to look kind of like old fashioned and well, like right. and everything was like the three stone, like one, two, three. Like or it, this, the style was very clean cut contemporary at the time. Mm -hmm. And so it ended up being harder than I thought. We actually didn't get the matching wedding band until- A year ago. Just this year, so. <laughs> and then for Tom's ring, we actually got uh, a tungsten, tungsten ring. Tungsten carbide. You're not even wearing it right now? Cause you're working on the truck? Yeah. So we got him a tungsten ring. We ordered it online, which was awesome. It was like. Sixty-five dollars. It was mm -hmm. it was fairly inexpensive, and that was because I had it engraved. It wasn't engraved. It would have been even less money. Um, I have broken four of them since then. <laughs> They'll actually crack, like uh, because it's it's a car it's carbide, mm -hmm. so they don't bend, they break. So, do you want to um, talk about the proposal? So I am. Uh, I'm maybe it's hard to believe. I'm fairly shy, and I don't necessarily want to make like a big spectacle or like a huge public thing. And I think Don knew that, and I don't know that you you don't really like surprises, and you don't like to be in spotlight. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, what better way to propose to Don than in front of our 200 youth group kids at youth group <laughs> one night during Valentine's Day? Yep. So it was the day before Valentine's Day. <laughs> it was day. the day before Valentine's Day. I hooked up with Kirby, uh, the youth pastor. So we were youth volunteer youth leaders for our church. And Kirby was the youth pastor. And so I got together with him like a few weeks ahead of time. And I was like, hey, you guys usually do like a relationship thing. I was mm -hmm. like, let's do a panel. And at the end of it, Dawn and I will be on the panel and we'll do this thing. And I will propose to her in front of everybody. So that's what we did. Yeah, and it was awesome. And I was completely surprised because I wasn't expecting it. Like to be on a panel or whatever, do that. I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. It's mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. But then I was not expecting Tom to propose mm -hmm. at the end of it. So that was 
super fun. Mm -hmm. And it was videoed, but then the video got Maybe recorded. Maybe the guy who videoed it recorded over it. <laughs> <laughs> so, otherwise it'd be fun to show you. But yep, otherwise we'd show it to you. Yep, so, and I mean, we were trying to, you know, as being youth leaders to set a good example and stuff too, so it was yeah. fun. Yep. That was cool that they could be there. So, I think overall, our wedding, it was simple. It was barely budget friendly, but um, I think it was, like, we heard lots of people afterwards were like, that was like one of the best weddings we've been to in a long time. And I think because it was kind of casual, but yet, Wait, did you just say that our wedding was one of the best weddings you've been to in a long time? They'd been to. People said <laughs> after. To. Best wedding Everybody I've ever been to. Everybody said our wedding was it's the, the best, best. Ever. <laughs> no, I think it was casual, but there was good food, and it yep. was just, I mean, yeah, the weather cooperated. It was a beautiful setting. So that was our wedding, and it's kind of fun always to think back on it or watch the video. Oh, no, I know, that was the other thing. The, so the one thing we kind of cheaped out on that I regretted was the photographer. Oh, man. Again, I that was- That gal was something. I was like, I honestly don't care. Like, I didn't really think photos were that big of a deal. In hindsight, I do think photos are kind of a big deal, and luckily, we had a videographer that was very skilled and it was actually we didn't even talk about this um at the radio station where i was working we did a promotion like don and tom's wedding so this videographer traded his services for promotion and so we got an awesome wedding video out of it this whole youtube thing not the first time our life's been public yeah <laughs> So it was great though because we got a beautiful wedding uh -huh. video out of it. So that's the wedding video you've been seeing. Yeah. And he was able to take still photos then from the video that yeah, were awesome. Yeah, it was beautiful, yeah. And yeah. so it made up for our lack of investing yeah. in a good photographer. So that would be the one thing in hindsight that um, we would have maybe done a little bit differently. We also ran out of wine at the wedding, but. <laughs> the other thing that's cool about the, the video that we got from the videographer. So we showed it to the kids like oh, yeah. a number of years back, mm -hmm. they had no idea. We showed it to the kids and they thought it was the greatest thing ever yeah. getting, and they've watched it since then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they thought it was fantastic to see mom and dad. Get yeah, married. it was fun to be able to show that yeah. to them. So, so that was cool. But overall, of course, it was a great wedding. Weddings are great, marriage is hard, <laughs> but uh, it's fun to look back and to remember those happy memories. So that is our trip down memory lane for today. Our marriage is great though, by the way. Yep. I wasn't implying that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what Tom... Right now it is. Yesterday not... it was not. I don't know how Tom hears these things uh, when I say them sometimes. Oh, I don't but... care. Well, how, how would you guys hear it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but thanks for coming along with us. We hope that you have a great Valentine's Day. We love you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.